let us start discussion on binary logic and gates binary logic deals with binary variables which take on two discrete values one is high value that is denoted by one and another one is low value that is denoted by zero so we have high and low value in electrical engineering generally high value is denoted by presence of voltage for example plus 5 voltage and low value is denoted by absence of voltage that means zero voltage and binary logic deals with these binary variables which take on two discrete values and with the operations of mathematical logic applied to these variables the binary variables are associated with three logical operations that are named as and operation or operation and not operation now let us see their function first of all and operation and the and operation is represented by a dot or by the absence of an operator for example if we have z equal to x dot y generally these are read by x dot y for this case z is equal to x and y z will be equal to 1 if x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 if x equal to 0 and y equal to 1 then z will be 0 if x equal to 1 y equal to 0 then z will be equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 y equal to 0 then z will be equal to 0 remember that x y z are the binary variables and can be equal to only 1 or 0 we can see all the outcomes for all possible inputs by using a truth table what is a truth table a truth table for an operator is a table of combinations of the binary variables showing the relationship between the values that the variables take on and the values of the result of the operation let's see an example suppose we have input variable x and y and the output variable is z for and get for all sort of input combinations we'll see what is the output if x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 for and case the output will be 0 for x equal to 0 y equal to 1 the output will be still 0 and for x equal to 1 y equal to 0 the output will be 0 and for x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 then the output will be 1 so for all combinations of inputs we can have these four combinations by using two bit x and y 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 the output can be written in this format here we can write 0 dot 0 equal to 0 0 dot 1 equal to 0 1 dot 0 equal to 0 and 1 dot 1 equal to 1 this is the end operation now let's see the function of or operation or this operation is represented by a plus symbol for example z equal to x or y though i have written plus here but it is generally said or now if x equal to 1 y equal to 1 then z will be equal to 1 if x equal to 1 y equal to 0 z will be equal to 1 if x equal to 0, y equal to 1, z will be equal to 1. If x equal to 0, y equal to 0, then z will be equal to 0. So if we write the operation first, we have x equal to 0 plus y equal to 0. 0 or 0 will return you 0. 0 or 1 will return you 1. 1 or 0 will return you 1 and 1 or 1 will return you 1 remember this is not plus this is or sign do not mix up binary arithmetic with binary logic this is binary logic so let me write do not mix binary arithmetic with binary logic Be very careful about that in binary arithmetic 1 plus 1 will return you 1 0 
but in binary logic one or one will return you one now if i draw the truth table this is truth table truth table for and get this is truth table for or get for or get how many inputs are there x and y and the output is equal to z how many combinations can we have four zero 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 one one zero one one for zero zero the output will be zero for zero one output will be one one zero one and one 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 so this is the truth table for our operation next we will start our discussion on not operation not this operation is represented by a bar over the variable or a prime sign over the variable for example z equal to x bar or in some books it is expressed as z equal to x prime both represents the same output z equal to not x meaning that z is what x is not that means if x equal to 0 then z will be the inverted version of x that means if x equal to 0 then z will be 1 if x equal to 1 z will be equal to 0 this not operation is also referred to as the complement operation that means we are getting the complemented value of any variable by taking the not operation it changes 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 if we draw the truth table the truth table will look like this we have x input and z output if x equal to 0 the output will be 1 if x equal to 1 the output will be 0 so this is the truth table for not operation now let us see the operation of gates different gates well the logic gates are electronic circuits that operate on one or more input signals to produce an output signal generally electrical circuits take zero as zero voltage and one typically as five voltage however in some cases there are other voltage levels for representing one signal we'll consider five voltage as high voltage that means one and zero voltage to represent zero signal now let us see the graphic symbols used to designate the three types of gates first of all and gates we have and gate the and gate is graphically represented by this is graphical symbol symbol it is graphically represented by this sign we have two inputs x y and the output is f here the f can be represented by this function f equal to x dot y or it is said x and y the truth table for and operation was shown in the previous page so i'm not going to show it here let's see the graphical symbol for or get graphical symbol the graphical symbol looks like this we will have a curve here and this, there will be two input this symbol is for two input or get we have f here x and y these are the two inputs so f can be written as f equal to x or y generally represented by x plus y and finally we have another symbol that is not get the graphical symbol it looks like this we have a not get here f and input is x we can say f equal to x bar or x prime both are okay other than these three basic logic gates we also use other gates one of that kind is NAND gate NAND gate let me write gate here so this is the name of the gate NAND gate what is NAND gate not AND gate that means 
the output of the AND gate will be inverted and that will give the output of the NAND gate. The graphical symbol for NAND gate is, it's quite similar to our AND gate, but we'll put a bubble here. Bubble means the output of the AND gate will be inverted and it will be presented here. So if we have X and Y, X and Y, they are input. So we'll have the end date output before the bubble. After that, the output will be inverted and that will be available at F. So I can say F equal to the output of end gate is X dot Y. Then the complete function will be inverted due to this bubble. We can place prime sign or bar sign, both are okay. Another type of gate that we also use that is NOR gate. NOR. NOR means NOT OR. So the graphical symbol, the graphical symbol looks like quite similar to our OR gate, but we'll place a bubble here in order to make it NOT OR. So we have two input X and Y and the output is F. The function f can be written as x or y. This is the output before the bubble. This is the output of or get. And after the bubble, the whole function will be inverted. Now let's see the truth table for NAND gate and NOR gate. We have two inputs, x and y. And we have function output for NAND and function output for NOR. We can have four combinations using two inputs 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and finally 1, 1. These are the input combinations. For NAND gate, 0, 0. If we have 0, 0 input, the output of AND gate is 0 and if we invert that AND gate output, we'll get the NAND gate output that will be 1. For 0, 1, output of AND gate is 0, and if we invert that, we'll get 1. Again, for 1, 0, the output will be 0 for AND gate, and inverted output for NAND gate will be 1. For 1, 1, it will be 0. Again, for NOR gate, if we have 0, 0 input, the output of OR gate is 0, then the output of NOR gate will be 1. Similarly, for 0, 1, the output of OR gate will be 1, and out put of NOR gate will be 0. In this way, we can have this type of output pattern. We also use other types of gates. One is exclusive OR. Or sometimes it is written as XOR. The graphical symbol for XOR gate looks like this. For two input case, this is the output function. This is the graphical symbol. We have x input here, y input here. Before I write the function for exclusive OR gate or XOR gate, let us draw the truth table first, x and y. This is the f output for XOR gate. We can have 0, 0 input, 0, 1, 1, 0, and finally 1, 1. That's it. Now the main characteristics of XOR gate is that whenever we will have different types of input, then the output will be 1. If we have similar type of inputs, for example, x equal to 0 and y equal to 0, they are same, then the output will be 0. If x equal to 1, y equal to 1, both the inputs are same, then the output will be 0. So for 0, 0, the output will be 0. For 0, 1, we have different types of input, so the output will be 1. For 1, 0, different types of input, the output will be 1. For 1, 1, it will be 0. The function f can be written as x prime y plus x y prime. Sometimes it is also represented using this notation x xor y. Finally, we have another type of gate that is exclusive NOR gate. Sometimes it is expressed as X NOR. The graphical symbol of X NOR gate looks like this. It's quite similar to that one. 
we have two inputs there will be a bubble here so x y and the function is f how the truth table will look like actually we'll have the same output but inverted version of this x or output so if i draw the truth table here x y and f for 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 for this case whenever we'll have similar type of inputs the output will be 1 whenever we'll have different types of input the output will be 0 so this output is the inverted version of XOR output and we can see from the graphical symbol as well so the function can be written as f equal to x prime y plus x y prime whole invert which can be written in this format as well x y plus x prime y prime in the upcoming session i'm going to cover simplification of boolean function this is a boolean function and using that simplification method i want all of you to prove this how we can come from this line to that line this also can be written using this formula x x or y x x or y this is the output here and if it is inverted the whole portion can be inverted so these are the widely used logic gates and and or not gates are called basic gates finally let us see some examples for logic gates with waveform inputs we'll see one example for and gate Suppose for this AND gate we have two inputs A and B and A and B are having this input waveform here this value is the low value and this value is the high value that means whenever we have high voltage that represents 1 then 0 means low voltage 1 1 high voltage high voltage so we have this input and this input in the input side of the AND gate and what will be the corresponding output X it is already plotted here now let us analyze for t1 time frame we can see both the inputs are 1 and 1 so 1 and 1 will return you 1 here for t2 time frame we have a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 as one of the input is 0 the output will be 0 so if we keep plotting then the first output will be 1 then during this t2 time frame 0 1 will return you 0 so it will plot in this format for 1 1 that will return 1 output that means high output and in this way if you keep plotting you'll get this type of output this is very simple but this type of representations are called timing diagram let us see another example using nor gate this is the graphical symbol of nor gate we have A input and B input and the input waveform for A is like this and input waveform for B is like this. Now what will be the corresponding output? We'll plot this. Let's extend this part. Here for A and B both inputs are 0. For 0, 0 input the output of the NOR gate will be 1. So that will start from 1 now here we have a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 for 1 0 input the output of or gate is 1 and output of nor gate is 0 so it will start from 1 and during this time period it will go back to 0 position here we have 0 0 for 0 0 input the output of nor gate we know from the truth table is 1 and again we are getting 0 1 for 0 1 input the output will be 0 for 0 0 input the output will be 1 again and for 1 0 input the output will be 0 again and for 0 0 input the output will be 1 so the output shape will look like this this is the wave shape for x in this way you can plot the timing diagrams for all sort of input timelines I hope the gate concept is clear to all of you. Boolean algebra. In 1854, George Bully 
invented this type of Boolean algebra. Actually, he published his thought, which is known today as Boolean algebra. Boolean algebra is a convenient and systematic way of expressing and analyzing the operation of logic circuits. Boolean algebra deals with binary variables and logic operations. The variables are designated by letters of the alphabet and the Boolean expression is an algebraic expression formed by using binary variables, the constants 0 and 1, the logic operation symbol and the parenthesis. In order to understand the Boolean algebra, let me show you an example. Suppose L is a function which has three variables d, x, a, which is equal to d, x prime plus a. Now here we are using three variables d, x, a and remember these variables can have value either 0 or 1 in Boolean algebraic system. For different combinations of dxa values, the function output of L will be either 1 or 0. This can be figured out using truth table. Let us draw the truth table for this Boolean function. We have d input, x input and a input and the L output. Using three inputs, we can have eight combinations 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and finally 1, 1, 1. Now, when we have d equal to 0, x equal to 0, and a equal to 0, if we place it here, d equal to 0, x equal to 0 means x prime will be 1, and a equal to 0. So if I place it, place the first set of value then d will be equal to 0 x prime will be 0 prime that will return you 1 plus a equal to 0 so 0 and 1 will return you 0 0 or 0 will return you 0 so finally we are getting l output equal to 0 now similarly for 0 0 1 input d equal to 0 x prime equal to 1 because x equal to 0 and a equal to 1. So this portion will be 0, 0 or 1 will return you 1. In this fashion, if you keep getting the result from this function, we will get this type of output. You can verify the output for each set of input values. Now, if we draw the logic circuit for this equation boolean equation then the circuit will look like this we have three input d x a d and x primes both of them are ended and this is r with a and here we'll get l here you need to remember that boolean addition is equivalent to the or operation and the boolean multiplication is equivalent to and operation now let us see some laws and rules of boolean algebra first of all we have commutative laws We have two types of commutative laws, commutative laws for addition, commutative law of multiplication. For two variables, we can write a plus b can be equivalent to b plus a. Both will give us same output and also a b equal to b a. This is commutative law for addition and this is commutative law for multiplication. So we can say a or b here we have a or b is equivalent to b or a same thing and from this law a b through and get will give us the equivalent output for b a through the same get Next, we have associative law.
for three variables the associative law can be written in this fashion a or b or c is equivalent to a or b or c so using logic circuit we can say a b c b or c will give us this output which is a or b or c which is equivalent to this case a b c the associative law of multiplication can be written in this fashion a b c is equal to a b into c using the logic circuit we can say a b c b c they are ended and finally the output is ended with a that will give us a b c which is equivalent to a b c these are input a and b the output will be ended with C. Both will give us the equivalent output. Next, we'll see distributive law. According to the distributive law, the law can be written for three variables in this format A, B, or C equal to AB or AC. So, in circuit form, we can say B or C, they are odd. Finally, the odd output is ended with A that will return as A, B or C, which is equivalent to A, B, C, A, B, finally, A, C. And the outputs will be odd together and we'll get a B or S both are equivalent here I can tell you the necessity of learning boolean algebra one of the advantages that we simplify the boolean function if we can simplify the boolean function for this similar type of output we can reduce the number of gate we can see for the equivalent circuit here we need to use three gates and here we need to use two gates definitely two gates are cheaper than the three gates that's why we need to simplify the boolean function as much as possible before we go for circuit implementation next let's see some rules of boolean algebra some rules i am writing here suppose a plus zero is always a we can have two values for a either 0 or 1 if a equal to 0 then 0 or 0 will return a 0 which is equivalent to value of a if a equal to 1 1 or 1 will return us 1 which is equivalent value of a and also we can write a dot 1 equal to a whatever the value we take for a will always get the output equal to a next a plus 1 is always 1 if a equal to 0, 0 or 1 is 1. If a equal to 1, 1 or 1 will be 1. So, a or 1 is always 1. Next, a and 0 is always 0. If a equal to 0, the output will be 0. If a equal to 1, output is 0. So, for all cases, a dot 0 is always 0. Next, a plus a is always a and a dot a is always a next a or a prime is always one if you take a equal to zero then a prime will be one the output will be one if a equal to one a prime will be zero one or zero will give you one so a plus a prime is always one next a dot a prime is always zero if a equal to 0, then a prime will be 1. 0 into 1 will return you 0. If a equal to 1, a prime will be 0. Z 1 into 0 will return you 0. Next, a prime, whole prime will return you a. Prime prime will cancel out. If you take the invert of the inverted function, then you will retain the original function.
finally we will see De Morgan's law. The De Morgan's law for two variables can be expressed as in this format a plus b whole prime equal to a prime b prime a b whole prime equal to a prime plus b prime this can be proved using truth table or by implementing the circuit you will have a lab session on de morgan's law there are two other rules for boolean algebra we can write from here after 9 we have 10 rule number 10 is a plus b into a plus c is equal to a plus b c how can you get that let's solve it let's take left hand side we have a plus b into a plus c if we multiply a dot a plus a c plus a b plus b c now a dot a from here we know a dot a is equal to a plus a c plus a b plus b c now if we take a common from here we'll get one plus c plus a b plus b c now one plus c one plus any variable is always one that will return us a plus a b plus b c next again if we take a common one plus b plus b c again one plus b will return us one and finally we'll get a plus b c which is equal to right hand side so this is proved we have another rule that is number 11 which says a plus a prime b is equal to a plus b now i want you to prove this this is your homework